Hi everybody, Brother Chad, servant of the Most High God, follower of Jesus Christ. And I just wanted to share uh, some dreams before they lose, be gone out of my mind. I have, I don't even know, I think this is the most I've ever dreamed. I dream all the time, but this week has been non-stop non-stop dreams. I, I wake up out of a dream in shock because of the dream and then fall back asleep right into another dream. It's, I've probably, I don't even know how many dreams I've been having at night and in the morning lately. It's been, like I said, non-stop, but I have a few that I've been remembering parts of. I would like to share some stronger than others. So the, the one part of the one dream I remember, I don't remember much of this dream. I wish I did, but I do remember uh, what we would call from, you know, watching movies. There were zombies in the dream. Like, I was kind of running from them. And the only thing I can say is I was along a fence and I was getting around the other side of the fence to get away from the zombies. That is all I can remember about it. But, you know, many have had dreams saying these things will happen, so... I just want to put that one out there. The next one's a little more significant. It was really hard for me to understand at first. I didn't know. It's hard to tell, are these from the Lord? Or are these worthy to be shared? But in this dream, I was flying down a, a canal, a little river, ditch, canal, whatever. It wasn't very big, only about 10 feet wide in a boat. And I'm just flying down down this little canal, like around the curves, full speed in a boat. Like you would never do this in real life. It was pretty bizarre. And as I'm going along, the, the canal kept getting narrower and narrower and shallower and shallower. And I didn't slow down in the boat. I just kept flying along full tilt. I wasn't scared. I wasn't running from anything. And I, I didn't, it took me a long time to try to see what this dream might have meant. But in the dream, as I'm flying along, like I said, uh, it turned into like I was basically flying down a little ditch, like three feet wide. Like in real life, the boat wouldn't even be to go down it and just flying along. And then the ditch completely turned into dried up. And I remember in the dream, the boat I was in just started skidding across all these rocks in a dry ditch. There was no water left, just dried right up. And I woke up, I'm like, what could this possibly mean? Is this from you, Lord? And it took me a couple of days of thinking of this one. And the only thing I can put to this dream, and, you know, if you have anything, some of you out there that are good at interpreting dreams, let me know, because I'm, I'm always open to hear these things. But the only thing I was thinking of is, speaking of a matter of time, I think we know where we are. As a representation of time, like I said, this canal turned into a ditch, got smaller and smaller until it dried up, and the boat I was in skidded to the to a stop on these rocks on the bottom of the ditch. And to me, uh, the Lord just told me today, it was kind of like time just, like it's over. Time just stopped. It's coming to a very abrupt stop where it's finished. I don't believe there's much time left for warnings. We're in the last seconds. I mean, we've been, I've been saying this, we've been saying this for the a long time now people have been saying this there's no more time left this was a very abrupt stop to the boat and i do believe it has to do with the time we're in so that's what i got out of this one this morning was strange um like 20 years ago when i was a younger man i worked for an industrial door company and like a dock company we did all the big truck levelers and docks and shelters at factories we worked on big industrial doors and all kinds of stuff like that but anyways i was with one of the guys i used to work with back then and back then it was just you know you had a work van a, your cargo van with your welder your torches all your different gear and and tools but in this dream we were at some man's house and he was this man was very rich his house was huge and it felt like we were inside like a warehouse. Like if I looked around in the warehouse we were in, it was probably three, four hundred feet across by three, four hundred feet across. And we were talking to the man who owned it. And this was an addition to his home. So I was very strange in the dream. I'm like, wow, like 
you built this as an addition to your home. That's pretty big. And like I said, I was with the guy I used to do doors. So I believe in the dream we were there to install a door or to do something for him. I don't remember why. It's not the point of the dream. But all of a sudden in the dream, people started coming out everywhere out of like hiding places in here and surrounded us on our vehicle. And all of a sudden in the dream, our vehicle went to like some big, huge, tall vehicle and we were on top of it for protection, right? Like it was almost like it went to like a big, huge monster truck and something big we were on top of and they couldn't quite get to us. And they had baseball bats and sticks and they were trying to come at us. And we were obviously trying to defend ourselves in the dream. It got kind of a little bit violent, but the weird part is here in the dream, I finally started speaking. I said, why are you, why are you guys trying to hurt us? And we're like, we've been left to die. We're all starving. We have, we have nothing left. And, the government took everything from us. And I remember saying in the dream, a little bit of my truth came out. I said, the government took everything from me too. I said, I'm, I'm rightfully rich. And they, they took everything from me too. And I know it doesn't sound humble. I'm just telling you what was in the dream. I said, they stole everything from me too. I know exactly how you people feel. And it was so weird in the dream because these people all started chanting. And I hope I don't get in trouble for saying this. It's just a dream. They started chanting revolution in the dream revolution revolution and that's where i woke up this morning it was really cool nothing super huge but significant the same i think and the last dream i want to share or at least part of a dream that i had yesterday morning and this was probably the most powerful and i remember when i woke up from this one i was actually hoping and praying that the tribulation didn't get this bad and i don't know it, uh, everybody knows what a tornado looks like, but in this dream, I was at my parents' house, like their actual house for once, their real house that they're at, and they're out in the county, and they have a, a full acre lot, and their house is a good hundred feet off the road, I would say, off the county road, and in this dream, we're standing in the backyard, and the weather was absolutely insane, and, and we all looked to the left, and there was three massive tornadoes coming down the road from the left. But they weren't your normal tornado like we see in real life. They were like red hot, like like fire, like lava. They were like fire tornadoes, just so red and glowing, like like metal when you're when you get metal to the point where it's red and hot. And they were spinning and bright red, and they were three, one after the other. Like only like 100, 200 feet apart coming straight down the road, like right down the road. They didn't veer off and hit the house. But in the dream, the first one went, went down the road by my parents' house. And you could see from the first one, a little bit of smoke came off the top of the roof of the house. Like my parents' house is brick and just shingles on top. So it didn't affect the brick. The first one went by and you could tell it heated the house. The heat was intense. There was a little bit of smoke, you see, kind of like heat come off the roof. The second one went by, and after the second one went by, the shingles on top curled, and you could see more smoke coming off the roof of the house. Like it was the, the heat was so intense from this fire tornado going by, the shingles curled. It was such a vivid, powerful dream. This one was probably the, the strongest of the ones I'm sharing. And then when the third tornado went by, that was it. The The house was fully on fire. And it was crazy. Like I said, I woke up and I was, uh, my heart was <laughs> from that one. It was very, uh, very, very vivid. But I didn't know, is this something that's going to happen in tribulation? Is there really going to be fire tornadoes? Like I've had many, many tornado dreams in the last decade. I haven't shared like very powerful tornado dreams, but they were normal tornadoes. I have never seen this where the tornadoes were like red hot, like fire. I don't know if this is something that could actually happen in tribulation or if there's another meaning to it. I've been putting thought into it is like, we know the world is going to burn. Is there something to do? with three different stages of the world burning and the, the third one's it, it's done over. I really don't know. Again, if you have any interpretations to this, 
feel free to share them to me in the comments. Uh, it was powerful. I've never seen a red hot f fire. I've seen little ones online, little twisters. Somehow the flame gets in, but this was not, this was huge and it was glowing red. Like it was, would light anything on fire in its path. It was insane. So I wanted to share these uh, parts of dreams that I, the only ones I can remember anyways from this week, it's been absolutely nonstop dreams, like I said. So the Lord is pouring out his spirit. And I mean, are all of them even from him? Some of them have been pretty dark in tribulation. So I guess that also could be from him. He, he tries to warn us how bad the tribulation will be. But anyways, let's focus back to Jesus now. We know he's coming soon. We know his wise virgins will be rescued from this. We're not a, appointed to the wrath. And that's that's where we have to keep ourselves right now. Don't stay in the world. Let go of it. Like even even COVID was we seen the horrors it's done to this world, the way the world's falling apart. And the Lord was telling me months ago, like how he turns everything bad the devil does into good. Like was was COVID and, and the jabs and all that was not one of the biggest wake ups for his believers to start letting go of the world because that's what I feel. Even that he turned to good. My children, let go of the world. Do not take this. Do not. It's time to to ready your hearts. And that's what I got from that. And it was a, it's a beautiful the things he can show us. I love when the Lord uses the devil's plans for good. It, it's amazing. Anyways, I'm going to stop this video here before it gets too long. I'm going to try to get some more going while I'm filling up to it. I love you guys. Take care. God bless.